Welcome to our devos. We are talking about simple spiritual warfare. We're not going to overcomplicate it. We're not going to oversell it. We're not going to sensationalize it. Spiritual warfare is what the Bible says it is. And it's these disciplines. It's these things that we do. Our weapons are not carnal. They're not made of flesh. They're not against flesh and blood. But these things that God tells us to do are so simple and yet we overlook them. They're so simple that we ignore them. They're so simple that we don't make them important. But they're the reasons why we win in the spiritual battle. We've been in the book of Daniel, and we talk about how Daniel was praying, and when the angel appears to him, he says, I'm here, and your prayer was heard. It's because you've humbled your heart before the Lord. And that's what it is. Like, that, literally, he's trying to submit to the Lord, and his prayer is answered. Like, it's not this mystical, well, it, what he did is he prayed a certain way, and he did this, and he believed it. No, no, no. It's because he put himself in the position to obey and listen to God. So today, I want to give you a spiritual warfare hack when it comes to dealing with other people, all right? Now, you are going to say, this is a big waste of my time because I want the deep, this is deep devotion time. Like, you should be sitting open with a fire. It's too warm yet for a fire, but you'll have your Bible open and you're sipping a coffee and you're like, tell me the deep spiritual truths, Pastor Sam. Tell us, let's talk about the deep spiritual truths. Here's one, spiritual warfare that you can win with people. You ready? Real simple, doing good. That's a spiritual warfare principle. Do good. Do good. You're like, okay, like to everyone? Yeah, to everyone. Here's why. Because there are people in your life that are doing bad. There are people in your life that have hurt you. And you're like, okay, yeah, tell us how to deal with them. Okay, it's it's real simple. It's called doing good. You don't want to be known as the person that retaliates. You don't want to be known as the person that is always negative about people. You don't want to be known as the person that causes trouble. You want to instead be known as a person who does good. What's it do? What does this have to do with spiritual warfare? A lot, actually. Romans chapter 12, verse 21, it says, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. What? Only in the spirit. There's things in the spiritual realm that are completely the opposite of the way we would think in the flesh. When we encounter evil, our response is to what? Fight back. Pick up it. Fight. Now, when it comes to ideology, you should fight. When it comes to somebody challenging your faith and, you know, trying to, uh, blaspheme the name of Christ in this culture right now, we're called to fight. The church did not choose this fight, but the church has to stand firm in the fight that we're, that's happening in our culture right now. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about on a personal level, when you're dealing with people and you're like, how do I handle when people are nasty to me? You overcome evil with good, by doing good, by saying good, by being a person that's known as always speaking good. That's really, really easy to talk about, but super, super hard to practice, Right? Because what happens is we want to be known as a person, oh, I didn't let that person get away with it. I told them off. I didn't let this person get away with it. I told them exactly what the problem is. In reality, the way to overcome evil is to do good. You destroy evil. When you have been hurt by someone and you have the opportunity to let it go or to retaliate, when you let it go, you honor God. When you let it go, you allow God to see that you are taking serious the words of Christ when he talks about us forgiving our enemies. When you let it go, and when you do good to those who have tried to hurt you, you are following the path of the Savior who walked Calvary's hill, died on a cross that was designed and should have been worn by us, and who gave his life for the very people that put him to death. That is doing good even though the people around you don't deserve it. So you are more like Jesus when you are doing good for those who have hurt you. So you want to overcome evil when it comes to people? Do good.